was hissed. They stopped just outside the last station, uncoupled Annie and Clarabelle, and ran Thomas, who was still hissing fit to burst, on a siding right out of the way. Then while the guard telephoned for an engine inspector, the driver found notices in large letters, which he hung on Thomas in front and behind. Danger! Keep away! Soon the inspector and the fat controller arrived. Cheer up, Thomas, they said. We'll soon put you right. The driver told them what had happened. So the feed pipe is blocked, said the inspector. I'll just look in the tanks. He climbed up and peered in. Then he came down. Excuse me, sir, please look in the tank and tell me what you see. Certainly, Inspector, replied the fat controller. He clambered up, looked in, and nearly fell off in surprise. Inspector, he whispered, can you see fish? Gracious goodness me, how did the fish get there, driver? We must have fished them from the river with our bucket, replied Thomas's driver. Well, Thomas, so you and your driver have been fishing, but fish don't suit you. We must get them out. They all took turns at fishing in Thomas's tank, while the fat controller looked on and told them how to do it. When they had caught all the fish, they had a lovely picnic supper of fish and chips. Mm. That was good, said the fat controller. But fish don't suit you, Thomas, so you mustn't do it again. No, sir, I won't, said Thomas sadly. Engines don't go fishing. It's too uncomfortable. Mm -hmm.